end up. Uh, sometimes I think I must be lazy and selfish and worthless. That part's not lined up. In other words, and calling someone else lazy and worthless is not lined up. Being critical of any choice that anybody else makes is not lined up. Trying to sort out what everybody on the planet should be doing right now is not lined up. Pushing against anything is not lined up. And most of all, pushing against yourself is not lined up. So if you're having a happy moment because you're feeling a little more freedom, line up with that and keep it going for longer. If you are having an unhappy feeling because you are feeling confused or you're sort of twirling in circles, then do your best to chill a little bit. Be nicer to yourselves and be nicer to everybody around you too. What you're going to notice is that you're going to get through this. In other words, this is not a permanent situation. This is a new launching of desire situation. But what's going on right now with your isolation is not a permanent situation. Although we in many ways would like you to isolate yourself from the naysayers of your life experience. Not just the naysayers about the things that you are globally worried about now, but anyone who doesn't believe that you are worthy. Anyone who is critical of you for any reason. We'd like you to isolate yourself from those. We'd like you to, to move in the direction of who you really are and what you really want. So we like the idea of you slowing the momentum globally of this virus. And we like the idea of you slowing the momentum of your pushing against one another too. And we just want you to understand that you cannot be in a position where you have to isolate yourself in order to not focus on unwanted things. You want to get to the point that no matter what, you can find connection with who you are. And we've never seen a better opportunity for you to figure out how to do that. This is an individual opportunity for you to tune to the frequency of who you really are and not look for those outside of you to solve the problem. They will. It's always that way. There are always those who tune into the solution and the problems are always solved. But have you ever wondered why with the solution for this disease and this disease and this disease coming, why is there always another disease? Why is there always another pandemic? Why is there another epidemic? Why is that? It's because most people do not focus toward the solution. In fact, most people focus toward the pushing against this and the pushing against that. And so we don't think that it's difficult for any of you to figure out how 100% of your population plays into this pandemic. 100% of the thoughts that you think when you push against anything plays into that. It also at the same time plays into the magnificent vibrational reality that is the promise of your future that is the eternalness that you've been asking for that is the eternalness that is the promise of all of our existence and so just find a way find any way in any moment to soothe yourself as best you can and the more you do that the more you allow the momentum of the solution to call you and the better you will feel until you will find yourself following the softening of this and prior to the next one kicking in you'll find yourself more deliberately focused in your world and doing more what this teacher was asking about how can I be of value by being the lover that you are how can I be of value to my students or to my lover or to anyone that I care about or even those strangers that I'm meeting how can I be of value by being one who predominantly loves and appreciates rather than one who predominantly worries. Don't ask the world to be worry free. It's not ever going to be. We you know a lot of you have a bone to pick with that. I would have liked to have just come from pure positive energy into this physical time and space. And I would have liked it to all have been all lined up for me so that when I got there, I could just focus only on the beautiful things that are around because there are only beautiful things around. And we say, then there would be no expansion of the vortex. Then there would be no asking. Then there would be no more calling of you toward your asking. And most of all, there would be no more satisfaction for you.